Hey guys, Sunday night, 9 o'clock. Here I am. Today was um, an okay day. I had planned on not going anywhere, but my dad's brother, Uncle Joe, the one who's not doing real well, had called and invited us out to dinner. So we went out to their house and I had roast and carrots and potatoes. And but when I got there, I hadn't seen him for a couple weeks. Dad sees him often because they go out gallivanting, but boy, people, he really is not doing well at all. He's getting very yellow. His eyes, when we sat at the dinner table, he sat across from me and he looked up at me and I'm like, it took me aback because the whites of his eyes aren't white anymore, they're yellow. Yeah. Tomorrow he goes to the doctor. He had an... Um, ultrasound last week which he'll get the results of tomorrow and then he has his chemo tomorrow which he's not feeling good as it is so it's just really gonna make him not feel good and then Wednesday he goes for a CAT scan uh, he had the chills when we were out there and you can tell he's losing a lot of weight now so yeah he told me he would really love to be able to stick around until next spring, but he doesn't know how that's going to work out. He's kind of depressed, and, and it's understandable. He's been on chemo for five years straight, so, and for the last two or three, it's been every week, going to the hospital every Monday. Now it's every other, but it's more potent. The person who was in the motorcycle accident, Nick, apparently he was not taken to Chicago. He's in South Bend near here to the bigger hospital near here and um, he had something like 150 some odd stitches in his face and he's holding his own it's just going to be a healing process nothing life threatening just the body broken up a little bit um it was just called my cousin David who lives down in Georgia Dalton Georgia carpet capital of the world which I've said before. He goes to the hospital tomorrow, checks in, and then on the first he um, has prostate cancer, so he's got to go in and have his prostate removed. So we called and uh, told him we'd be thinking about him and um, talked to him for a while. Um... Then me and Dad started talking about Arkansas again. He started getting emotional, and he, he's like, maybe I'm just not going to go this year. I'm like, oh, no, you're going. I said, uh, and he starts crying about Mama. And I'm like, you know, Dad, I know it's it's hard. I said, but you got to stop because you're all I have left. So if you get depressed and something happens to you, that's just not, can't happen. I said, uh, I know it's hard. You know, so I think he's going to drive his RV and take the dog. Because I don't want him to board her either. Cause I don't, she would hate it, honestly. I know she would. So he's like, well, maybe I'll just take my RV and then that way. Because first, when he said he didn't want to go, I said, you're taking grandma, you gotta go. Well, she can ride with Jeff and Donna. I said, well, no, you're going, buddy boy. You're going. Um, any more people I have to update you on? Nope, I don't think so. I oh, I gotta go on eBay because there's some bathing suits on there I'm looking at that go up tonight. So I must go now. Totally forgot. Hopefully I can get one. Bye.